friends this is priyanka today we are going to solve a problem on crank and slotted lever quick return motion mechanism of the shaping machine in this video we are going to draw space diagram and velocity diagram with some suitable scale we are also going to learn how to select the direction for the angular velocity of any link from the velocity diagram so first i will read what is the given problem a quick return mechanism of the crank and slotted lever type shaping machine is shown in diagram the dimensions of various links are as follows o1 o2 800 mm o1 b 300 mm o2 d 1300 mm d r 400 mm the crank o1 b makes an angle of 45 degree with vertical and rotates at 40 rpm in counter clockwise direction find velocity of ram r or the velocity of cutting tool and angular velocity of link o2 d so this was the given question now first point is to draw the space diagram with some suitable scale now if we observe the dimensions here the dimensions are given o1 o2 800 mm that means it is equal to 80 cm then o2 d 1300 mm that is 130 cm so these scales are not possible to take so we will take here scale 1 is to 1 by 5 that means for this scale we will divide here by 5 so here o1 o2 that is 80 cm divided by 5 so we have to take the vertical distance in between o1 o2 that is 60 cm now we will observe the diagram so in this diagram two points are the fixed points that is o1 o2 and they are along the vertical line so first we will fix this point so we will draw here one vertical line in the form of dash and dot and on that line we will plot two points o1 o2 at 16 cm apart now if we observe there is the crank o1 b and the angle is given from the vertical line for this crank it is inclined at 45 degree so we will draw here one 45 degree angle and from that point we will draw crank o1 b so o1 b is 300 mm so as per scale we have to take 6 cm so plot here o1 b is equal to 6 cm now at point b there is the slider c that is getting connected so here the important point is that the slider c is connected at the end of point b but this this is having a oscillating motion or sliding motion along the link o2 d so here we have to draw the link o2 d passing through the end point of the crank that is point b and at this point b we have to also show the slider so first we will complete the link o2 d so if we observe o2 d is given 1300 mm so as per scale we have to take here as a 26 cm so from this o2 i will draw one line passing through this point b and with scale 26 cm so this is the point d now at this point d here if we observe this is the point b that is the point of intersection for this link o2 d and this crank o1 b and at this point of intersection we have to show slider and that slides along the link o2 d so here is the slider c now again from this point d there is the ram the location of ram is given that is 400 mm now again we will observe the diagram so in this diagram there is one horizontal line passing through this point d and again there is one line with vertical distance 200 mm that we have to draw so here we will take the distance for the 4 cm and we will again draw here one line now with the help of compass we will complete this so the distance dr is given so distance dr is 400 mm so as per this scale we have to take distance which is equal to 8 cm so take here d as a center and mark here one arc and this arc or the point of intersection will be point r so at this point uh, we will take here 
or draw here link dr so here is the r and at this end there is again uh, at this ram r there is the tool or we can say cutting tool that is getting attached so again for this cutting tool there is the sliding motion so i will again make here the slider so here is also the construction of the slider at this ram r so in this way this this uh, diagram is getting completed now we will move to draw the velocity diagram but before that we will first calculate the linear velocity for this crank o1b so here the given data is nbo1 which is equal to 40 rpm so from that we can calculate the angular velocity omega of b with respect to o1 that is omega bo1 2 pi n by 60 so n 40 rpm so here 4.2 radians per second so from this omega we can calculate the linear velocity so linear velocity vb o1 so o1 is the fixed point so simply we can say vb which is equal to length o1b multiplied by omega b o1 so length o1b is given 300 millimeter so we have to take this scale into meter that is 0 0.3 into 4.2 which is equal to 1.26 meter per second so now we know that this linear velocity is in the perpendicular direction to the link so if we observe for this link o1b the motion is given in anti-clockwise direction so we have to show arrow for this linear velocity in the direction for this anti-clockwise direction so first i will draw here one perpendicular line with for this o1b so i will use this protractor these two edges are perpendicular to each other so i will align one edge with this o1b and from the other edge i will draw here one perpendicular line so this is the direction that is in the same direction we have to show and this is nothing but vb so here is the direction of vb and here is the magnitude 1.26 meter per second so now we have to take some suitable scale to draw the velocity diagram so i will take here this scale 1 meter per second is equal to 20 centimeter so 1.26 meter per second what is the scale that is 1.26 into 20 divided by 1 that is 25.2 centimeter so now if we observe the diagram these two points o1 o2 are the fixed points so i will select here one particular point which is o1 o2 and then from this point i have to draw the velocity of this point b with respect to o1 so direction is the same direction and magnitude that we have to take 25.2 so i will take here the line parallel to this vb and i will transfer this line So initial point is O1, final point is B. So we have to show arrow also. And here I will say VB. This vector O1, B represents the velocity of B. So I will say VB. Now again if we observe here, this point B is connected to slider C. So how to show the motion of the slider C? So we know that while drawing the velocity diagram any reciprocating motion or sliding motion we have to transfer as it is that is in that same direction so here the sliding motion is taking place along the link o2d so we have to draw one parallel line to this link o2d but passing through the point b so i will draw so i will show here also that is for slider see this is the oscillating motion or the reciprocating motion along this line that is parallel to o2d so i have to take here one line parallel to this link o2d but passing through the point b now we don't know where is the exact location of this point c now if we observe the diagram here this slider c is having the motion with respect to this point b also and with respect to this fixed point o2 also so how we can show the motion of this slider C with respect to this point O2. So for that I have to draw one perpendicular line to this link O2C. So with this protractor I will draw here one perpendicular line. So this is the rough construction. So along this line we have to show the velo that linear velocity of slider C with respect to O2. So I have to draw this line parallel to this line but passing through point O2 because here the point O2 is already
already taken. So I will take here the line parallel to this construction line and here passing through the point O2. So here is the point of intersection. So this point of intersection is nothing but the point C. So in this way, this initial point is B, final point is C. So here this vector BC represents velocity of C with respect to B. And here the final point is C, initial point is O2. So here it represents the velocity of C with respect to O2. So O2 is the fixed point. So simply I will say this vector is BC. Now if we observe the point D li lies on the old C produced. So for that we have to take here the ratio. So if we observe this diagram we have to take ratio O2 C divided by O2 D. Now O2 C distance is not given in the question. So we will measure here. So if we measure here this distance O2 C is 20.5 cm. So I will say O2 C is equal to 20.5 cm. But our scale is 1 is to 1 by 5. So here we have to, if I write here 1 is to 1 by 5, but here this total is 20.5 cm. So here we have to decide what is the original value. So here is the question mark. So if I make the cross multiplication, then 20.5 which is equal to 1.5. 1.5 into x, so unknown term is x. So x is equal to 20.5 multiplied by 5. So if I take here this value that we I will get here 102.5 centimeter. So our scale is in millimeter. So we have to take here convert it into millimeter. That is 1025 millimeter. So I will take O2C 1025 and this O2D that is 1300 and that is given. So here which is equal to in the velocity diagram we will take the same proportion. That is this O2C distance that we have to measure. So if we measure here that is 22.5 cm. So I will write here. 22.5 here the unit is centimeter and O2D so O2D is unknown term so we have to calculate this O2D so how to calculate so again here only one unknown term is O2D here millimeter millimeter is getting cancelled so if I transfer this O2D to the left hand side then this term will be uh, I have to transfer to the right hand side so I will take 22.5 multiplied by 1300 divided by 1025 so which is equal to 28.53 so O2D is equal to 28.53 centimeter so I have to take here the distance from O2 that is 28.53 so here here is the point. So I will produce this and this point I will get this is the point D. So in this way I will get the point D on the O2C produced. Now from this D there is the link DR. So if we observe this, this how to find out the linear velocity for this link DR. So again it is in the perpendicular direction to the link. So I will use the protractor and I will draw here one construction line that is one perpendicular line to this link DR. And now I have to draw one parallel line passing through this point D. So here now I don't know where is the exact direction. So on both directions I will draw here one line passing through the point D. So this is the initial point is D, final point is R. But we don't know where is the exact location of R. So one important thing is that this R is having horizontal motion. So this is the motion of the slider along the horizontal line. So I will show that. So this is the reciprocating motion. So we know that how to uh, show this sliding motion or reciprocating motion. So we have to show its a direction as it is. 
So this horizontal motion I have to show with respect to fixed point O1, O2. So I have to draw one line parallel to this horizontal line passing through O1, O2. So simply draw here one horizontal line passing through this point O1, O2. So if we observe here this is the line. So this is point of intersection is nothing but the point R. So I will show here vector that is initial point is D, final point is R. So this vector DR indicates velocity of R with respect to D. And here this vector O2R indicates velocity of R with respect to O2. So how we can show O2 is the fixed point. So simply I will say velocity of R. Now we will move to the calculation part. So the first question is that we have to find out the velocity of R. So velocity of ram R how to find out. So here is the reciprocating motion with respect to fixed point. So we have to measure this vector O2 R or O1 R. So if we measure this vector O2 R what is the length. So if the length is 29 cm. And our scale is 1 meter per second is equal to 20 cm. So for 29 cm here is the question mark. So suppose we consider this unknown term as a x then we have to take here cross multiplication. That is 20 x is equal to 29 into 1. So x is equal to 29 divided by 20. So here vr is equal to 1.45 meter per second. So here is the answer for the first question. Now we will move for the second question. So here we have to find out the angular velocity of link O to D. So how to find out that? So for that we have to first find out the linear velocity of O to D. So linear velocity of O to D that means we have to measure vector O to to D. So what is the length of this vector O to to D? That is 28.53 cm that we have already calculated. So how? From that we have to find out the velocity. So here is the scale. So suppose here is 28.53 cm. Then what is the velocity? So here is the question mark. So again we will make here the cross multiplication. So here velocity of this O2D is 1.42 meter per second. So from that we can find out the omega. So omega dO2 is equal to V dO2 divided by length O2D. So O2D is 1300 millimeter that is given. So we can say that it is equal to 1.3 meter. So 1.42 divided by 1.3 which is equal to 1.09 radians per second. Now main important thing is that what is the direction and how to decide. So if we observe here is the direction of this O2D. So O2D is having the direction towards the left hand side. And this direction is perpendicular to the link O2D. So this is, this is the construction line which is perpendicular to this link O2D. So I will show here the same direction as the direction shown in the velocity diagram that is towards the left hand side. Now with the help of compass we will decide where is the direction of motion. So here O2 point is the fixed point. So we will take O2 as a center and move the compass in the direction of velocity. So here this is the motion. So if we observe this motion is the anticlockwise direction. So we will write here the answer that is anticlockwise direction about O2. So this is the answer.